I'm Jeff Jensen with Go Engineers Tech Support for SOLIDWORKS and in this video I'm going to show you the Assembly Expert and how it can be used to improve assembly performance especially with large assemblies and also spot problems with assemblies. So to get started we're going to open up our full grill assembly. It's not a real large assembly but it definitely will have some time to load up here in our first instance. So now that's loading up here, we'll notice that if we try to zoom in right off the bat, and you'll come across this sometimes, so this typically happens when you got one or more components really far from the origin and the rest of the parts, so that when you do a zoom to fit, it actually zooms out what seems like to be infinity, and you can't see your your model. And Assembly Expert will help that with that as well to resolve those issues. So to access it, we'll go to our Tools drop-down menu and then just click on assembly expert <clears throat> and here we'll we will get um, all the messages that it that it, it will tell us some information about our assembly the first thing it's going to tell us is whether the components have been converted to the version of SOLIDWORKS that we're opening in it and this is probably the most important for improving performance because if they're not converted to this version of SOLIDWORKS you won't be able to open those up in lightweight mode and and not rebuild the parts when opening so this is going to be the the most critical thing is to make sure all your components are updated you can also see that the save there's a warning message on the save icon here letting you know that some of the components have not been converted to this version um, and so we'll continue down the list and we'll get to this saving those and converting those in a bit here. So the t it'll also tell you the total number of resolved components in this assembly and it's telling us it's 234. Um, and that's because most of these are an earlier version so obviously cannot load that in lightweight mode so they're going to be resolved here. Um, and this right here is telling us that one of our components is very far from the assembly origin that's why it's zooming out. Um, when we try to do zoom to fit. And so you can easily fix that just by pushing on the little wrench icon there for analyze and fix. And you, this may, if this doesn't work for you, it could be due to if you actually have a mate that is putting it out there. So like if you create a mate and actually accidentally put in um, too many zeros in that mate and got it too far off. So we'll click OK and kind of show how this fixed the, the zoom to fit. So now we can actually click on zoom to fit and we zoom in and everything's looking a lot better, at least closer to the assembly origin where we can see it. So let's continue with the assembly expert to kind of diagnose our assembly here. So it's also, you'll we'll see here, it's going to tell you the number of mates evaluated and keeping this mate countdown will help with assembly export and you could to do that it's encouraged or, or recommended to have sub assemblies so that these mates or the majority of them would actually be not evaluated at like a top level assembly but in the in a sub assembly and so it doesn't have to rebuild those mates every time it rebuilds so, and then it'll give you a report of the last assembly rebuild, showing the time taken by the significant components and features. So to get information about that, you just click the icon with the glasses and you can kind of get an idea of where the time being spent rebuilding is. So you might have like assembly features or patterns that might be taking up a lot of time that you might notice from here that you could then go and suppress temporarily if you need to while you're working on your on your assembly. So let's return to the assembly expert. And it's also going to tell us if you have issues with your in context relationships. So this one is, we can see it's taking <clears throat> almost a, a large percentage of the rebuild time here. And it's probably creating a, a loop, a rebuild loop. So if we click OK here, try to do rebuild, we see that those just don't go away. And so probably have a loop there so we can use the assembly expert click on the glasses information here and it's happening in the support frame end <clears throat> so let's go down here so probably the side table plank wood and we see this cut extrude so it looks like it's actually the feature so if we edit the feature 
we'll notice that it has an up to surface and that surface is not defined anymore so I'll probably issue with that let's just change that to actually you just click on that surface there click OK let's see if that resolves that problem go ahead and rebuild and that goes away so do our zoom to fit check out the assembly expert again and that message is gone so we fixed our in context relationship that had an infinite loop so that's going to help us on rebuild time now probably as well uh, so also it's going to tell you if verification on rebuild is on and this is going to be important for performance too when you have this option on in the system options i'll show you where it's at if you go to just your system options and on performance uh, you have this checked here, verification on rebuild. Uh, what that does is does a more stringent check when it, when SolidWorks rebuilds. It's checking all faces rather than just ones that are actually going to affect a, a feature. Um, so normally you want this off. The only time you want this on is if you're doing complex surfacing or you're experiencing problems where if the feature is not, you know, rebuilding or and you can turn this on and you might. SOLIDWORKS might catch a problem with a previous feature that is causing the problems. So we'll turn that off, say OK, go back into the assembly expert, and we'll see that message is gone. Uh, so, and it will also give you statistics on your assemblies, you know, how many unique part documents and parts and sub-assemblies and a lot of uh, good information if you're looking for that, you know, you want to get a, a count on that. It also tells you other tools, uh, you know, kind of tools, the feature statistics for parts kind of does the same thing where it gives you a rebuild time for your features so you can see what features are taking the longest. So right now we're going to go ahead and we will we'll just do a save all to convert this assembly to the latest version. In this in case, it's SOLIDWORKS 2014. So now that they're converted, we can actually close this down. And additional settings you want to do for assembly performance, if you go into the system options, you want to make sure that the verification and rebuild is off. And you want to do automatically low components lightweight. Um, you can also specify the to rebuild the assembly on load. You can tell it to always do that or never or to prompt you where you can decide. If you want to open up the fastest, you can click never if you're just interested in getting it open and you don't want SOLIDWORKS to take the time to rebuild it. So we'll click OK and we'll try opening up our assembly again. And we see that it opened up a lot faster this time. The a sub, the assemblies and parts are opening up in lightweight mode. That's what this little blue feather means. And SOLIDWORKS, like if we try to edit this, it's automatically going to resolve it and, and we'll be able to get in there and, and work on it. And SOLIDWORKS will load the information as needs. So, so as, uh, Assembly Expert is a tool that you can use to spot problems with assemblies and improve assembly performance. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Again, I'm Jeff Jensen with Go Engineers Tech Support.